before showing you an interesting table in which we find loose hands of Israel from the Arab terror, yeah, this is the expression of the Torah, loose hands, that will be time in the future that Israel will have loose hands, was that yard, and unfortunately we will be able to chase away all the enemies which are causing the damage, harm all the time. So what he says here in this the recent news, it means it was thrown on the army south of Jerusalem and Bakbuk Tabera and firing bottle was thrown on a the road for for three, which is western to Jerusalem, but altogether what is interesting is that they point out that short time after it was Wednesday yesterday, then the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that no more, we don't have tolerance to only to bear all this throwing of stones and firing bottles in the area of Jerusalem. Exactly a short while after he said this, a Slachberg looked at a firing bottle was thrown on the main really road to Jerusalem, 443, in the same place that also a soldier was stabbed a few days before. And altogether, as he points out, the army of Israel who were responsible on security of Israel is not able, not successful, not able to prevent all this. And we see from day to day more and more burning of fields by the Arabs, clearly known, and throwing stones, causing damage all over, stealing. So all this is happening, unfortunately, more and more, and Israel cannot do anything. And in fact, this really was a Torah says, it will be a situation in future, in the end of days. And let us see really what we saw in this table, where we have this expression like loose hands. Loose hands, it means that Israel's hands will be loose, weak, before Messiah. And then, when God will see this situation, when Jews will do repentance, he will bring Messiah. So here you have the, what we looked for was Ozrat, yeah, this is the expression of the Torah, of the loose hands, the weak end of Israel. From terror, you have a Hebrew word, from terror, from this action of terror, and you can see it coming here, met terror, in black, from in red, met terror, and the Arab in black, you see. So you have here, met terror, from terror of the Arabs, Arabi Arabs, Arabi Arabs, here. Now then we have, clearly the Torah tells us a situation before Messiah, the Salachai, when you will travel and all these things will happen to you, in the end of days, you return to God, you listen to his voice, because God is merciful, will not lose you, will not leave you, will not forsake you, will not destroy you. Right? It's a promise, but definitely all this in condition, you repentance. Interesting that you have also Azah and the Patach coming here. The Torah really says that at the Yom Azeh, up to today, this other will be settled by enemies of Israel. And then, carry on seeing this year, 775, and 776 next year, in which is really the main problem of Israel, supplying weapons, munitions, to the enemies of Israel. Now, the Torah says that this will be the situation before Messiah in the end, of day, and then God will see the situation of Israel, and Mashiach will come. Amazingly, so just before that year, lose end, you have Mashiach Hashem Lokecha, the Messiah of God, and definitely in conditions that He will do tshuva, repentance, and bezacharta should remember at Hashem Lokecha, remember God ki u notenacha, because God gives you power, not weapons, not. it is God who gives you the power, and then only in such a case you will do repentance, keep Torah, Mitzvot, Sabbath, everything in the Torah, then really will realize Tava Ares, then he will get and he will realize 
זה גוד לנד אשר השם אלוקיך נותן לנו, זה דה גוד לנד ויש גוד גיבס טו אס. זה אימפורטן טייבל, אין ואין אימפורטן מסג' של נתניהו, זה פריים מיניסטר, סינג זה תסבי בייבל, to change the decision against the agreement with Iran. He will be able to fight, to stop this turning and throwing, well, firing bottles on Jews and burning fields. Apparently the message that SVC, unfortunately, many years he was not able to do it because the idea is that all these problems come because of the sins. iniquities of Jews, and it's written clearly that this is only by doing shuva, repentance will be able to get rid of all these terrible situations that we have today.